Harry. What is it? The uh, stuff that dreams are made of. 100 for 100. A podcast where I take 100 films. I think all of you new movie watchers out there should uh, be checking out. At least check out these movies at least once. 100 of them. I ranked them from 100 to 1. Uh, call this podcast Powers of X. <laughs> and um, I ranked them for you. And I accompanied each one with a 100-word review. That's how you get the name for this show, 100 for 100. And uh, this podcast, talking about it all. And you get one episode a day, every day, the first 100 days of the year. 2020 yesterday we talked about uh unforgiven very good. also good soundtrack unforgiven as well throw that on um if you ever get the chance we're doing dishes put it on enjoy it and uh, watch unforgiven if you haven't today today we're back in the 40s uh with our number 34 here the maltese falcon 1941 directed by john houston well, I uh, do believe also uh, did a couple of westerns in his day. So go ahead and check those out, too. Now let's get into this 100-word review of The Maltese Falcon. One of the most treasured film noirs. The appeal of Maltese Falcon lies squarely in its acting. Front and center is Humphrey Bogart, laying on the hard-boiled quick wit, spitfire one-liners, and charm that came to be a staple in the genre. Mary Astor is transformative as Bridget O'Shaughnessy, morphing from damsel in distress to cold-blooded opportunist. Peter Laurie is downright creepy with his soft-spoken measured tones and with the addition of Sidney Greenstreet, one of cinema's most entertaining and delightful antagonists. The stage is set for the search of possibly the best MacGuffin in film history. And I certainly believe that, man. Maltese Falcon is, I think, pro probably the number one. Um, MacGuffin, that's up there. Uh, what else is up there as far as uh, Marcel Wallace's briefcase? Uh, that'd be up there. The Infinity Stones, obviously, are all different kinds of MacGuffins. Um, whatever, whatever, we never find out what's in the briefcase in Ronin. Also a great MacGuffin. Uh, but yeah, the Maltese Falcon, man. This, uh, whenever you think about film noir, um, there's a couple of good ones that are, that are out there. There are a couple of standouts in the genre. Um, I would put probably Chinatown up there on that list. Um, I might even put the Big Lebowski in a uh, in a, a weird kind of way. Is also film noir. Kiss Kiss Bang Bang is a great film noir up there. Um, you know, and there's things like Maltese Falcon, uh, Humphrey Bogart playing the character of Sam Spade. You know, he's got that distinctive nasally voice that comes from a a, a mouth scar that he has. Um, but he he knows how to use that voice too. It's incredibly distinctive. Like when you hear him talking, you know you're listening to Humphrey Bogart, um, and just seeing him just play out this whole thing. He's he's very very light and easy going for the most part in this film, which is why I like it so much. Um, you know, when things get a uh, when things get a little bit squirrely, he gets serious quick. But other than that, man, he's just full of great quips and one liners, and he, he just kind of enjoy watching him on the screen as he moves through this whole thing uh you got like i said mary astor's bridget o'shaughnessy uh, she is also amazing in this too and then like they they play on that expectation of like the damsel in distress at the beginning like huh you know the, I, I need to hire you to to kill this guy because he's coming for me and she's just if you watch it for the first time you're like god this is terrible acting on her part and what were they thinking when they cast her and you realize that that's all a front end. And when that front drops, you're like, oh, this brought cold-blooded as hell. Um, and then, yeah, and Sydney Green Street, man. <laughs> I love Sydney Green Street in this film. The dude just gives no fucks. He's just the happiest villain I've ever seen on film. Uh, check out Maltese Falcon if you haven't, man, because it's just a, a good little mystery type situation there's some twists in there there's some turns not everything twists in the third act there's a couple that uh, come before that and you're like oh no can't trust this dude or who killed this guy or what's going on here um although i did give away the bridget o'shaughnessy twist i apologize <laughs> go ahead and check out uh number 34 on our list the maltese falcon